today I'll be sharing with you a video where I did a cityscape uh, photography. Yung ginawa ko na street. So I'll share ko sa inyo yung uh, photos na nakuha ko from the shoot and settings ko. Before I forget, kung first time mo dito sa channel ko, uh, please hit subscribe for more videos like this. Click nyo rin yung notification bell para notify kayo pag may nang mga bagong videos. At dahil nakabata na shirt ako, pa-plug ko lang yung aking um, post nung isang um, araw about Benihan para sa Batanes. So, I contributed an album there selling photos so I can help raise fund for the Batanes recovery. Um, so, some other uh, Pinoy photographers also, some of my friends, have contributed to this project as well, to this initiative. So, check it out. It's in the description below. Check the, the link if you haven't checked the Facebook page of Bayanihan para sa Batanes. It's a collaboration among Filipino photographers para makatulong mag ng funds for the recovery of Batanes. Some of the photographers contributed their landscape photos of Batanes kasi sobrang ganda talaga sa Batanes. Amazing, amazing place. Uh, I just wanted to give back um, to that place for the amazing experience that has given me. So I'm selling my photos and uh, I will be donating all the proceeds to the Batanes recovery. Well, of course, less the production cost, the printing and the uh, shipping cost of the prints. So, we have sold some photos na. So, hopefully, some of you who haven't done um, already or uh, hindi pa nakikita yung Facebook page or my album, it's posted sa uh, Facebook page ng JCRP Landscapes. I will um, put a link also in the description. Check it out, guys. Doon sa mga nag-avail ng mga prints ko, thank you so much. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Sobrang nakatulong kayo sa project na ito, sa initiative na ito. So, we'll send the proceeds na hopefully by next week pag nandyan na yung mga prints nyo. You can help also by sharing the Facebook page. You can have friends who wanted to avail yung mga photo prints yung mga Pinoy photo. Tulong-tulong para sa Batanes. So there, meron ka ng home decor. Nakatulong ka. Ah, yes. Yun yung moto natin. <laughs> okay, so let's get on with the cityscape. Madalas kong kunan na, ano, na cityscape nyo. So, nandito ako sa condo. Yes. Yung camera strap dito, mas maganda ang tanggalin na lang kasi anyway, nakakabit naman yung camera sa tripod. The reason why you need to take it off because pag hinangin yan, the strap will cause camera shake doon sa uh, camera mo while take for taking that shot. Where are those birds? It's waiting for the birds, waiting for the birds. <laughs> Yeah, 
nakakatakot kanina ng mga birds. As in, dun sa composition ko, dun sa gitna dadaan. Hindi pa ako prepared. Time lapse tayo guys. Mahangin eh. Yung mas madaming clouds, yung movement ng clouds. Ayano natin, capture na. So here's a photo of the Kubaw area where the high-rise buildings are located. So this is the view from our building. So here I use a telephoto lens, 70 to 200, 70 to 200 uh, Tamron lens with a Canon mirrorless camera M5. So this is a crop sensor camera. So um, the focal length will be since i'm shooting this at 200 mm so na extend pa siya 300 mm pa siya pag uh, if you are um, in a APS-C uh, crop sensor camera so yung setting setting dito ay um, uh, 4 seconds shutter speed and then f18 aperture and then iso 100 this is one of the photos that i converted to black and white because the colored version is not very appealing so i mentioned earlier the weather that day uh, was overcast hindi masyadong warm yung colors uh, during the sunset and the uh, dull um, color so i just converted to black and white and um this looks nice it's a uh, um, a good photo for me okay so this is the same view of Kubao but with a different orientation and focal length. So at a por portrait orientation kasi gusto kong makuha yung uh, crepuscular effect ng sun dun sa clouds. Um, and then uh, zoom out at 70mm uh, para yun nga, capture ko rin yung uh, nangyayari dun sa taas ng mga buildings which is yung crepuscular effect ng uh, sun to the clouds and then um yung shutter speed natin um i wanted faster than the uh we had in the previous photo which is four seconds ito kasi gusto ko makuha yung um race yung sun race okay dahil mabilis nga yung ano nito yung mga clouds na windy 
um, again I converted to uh, black and white uh, um, because the clouds are gray so yun yan malapit ng umulan itong ano to pero mataas pa yung araw nito kinocover niya lang yung yung gray clouds tinatakpan niya yung ano yung sun okay this is the colored version of the previous photo pero at a different time um, kasi makapansin niyo wala na yung crepuscular effect nagmove na yung mga yun nagmove na yung clouds nito so medyo lumabas ng konti yung sun and uh, because I wanted to highlight yung uh, presence ng sun, I boosted the saturation um, doon sa upper uh, uh, upper part of this photo no? and uh, I think I was also using a GND uh, graduated uh, neutral density filter here and uh, same settings as uh, you can see here uh, same setting siya nung sa previous photo. So, 1 over 15 seconds, F8, and ISO 100. So, here, um, this is again the uh, Kobawa area um, zoomed in at uh, around 300 mm. Uh, and then, medyo nakalubog na yung sun nito. Kaya, medyo mas madilim na siya lumabas na yung colors nung uh, uh, yellow and pink. Pero in post-processing, I think, binust ko pa yung saturation nito para mas lumitaw. No? And, um, I, I like the colors playing dun sa background ng mga uh, buildings. And, clean up ko na to to this size, squared um, size. Kasi ito na yung pinaka-highlight talaga ng uh, photo. The buildings. Tapos yung um, colors playing the sa likod ng uh, building. No? And uh, if you will notice yung uh, settings natin, um, same camera and lens, pero yun nga, mas mabagal yung shutter speed natin nito because um, it's getting darker. No? Lumubog na yung araw nito. Okay. And then, if you wanted to, ano pala, if you wanted to know how I process my photos, let me know in the comment section below. I might create a video that will uh, teach you or show you how I post-process my landscape photos like this one. Okay, this view naman is on my left. So, from the Kubao view, um, I turn left, ito na yun. Um, ito na yung view na yun. This is Eastwood City. And um, I'm using a different lens na dito. So, I'm using a, an ultra-wide lens, 10 to 18mm, may Canon, but same camera, may mirrorless um, M5. And then, since this is already blue hour, nakalubog na yung sun, um, 30 seconds na yung shutter speed natin para uh, makapture ko yung, um, um, I have a right exposure and then makapture ko din yung light trails ng mga kotse, ng mga tricycle na dumadaan dito sa may uh, barangay hall. You will see yung um, trails nung um, orange color na lines dito sa baba. And then F22. I use F22 kasi gusto kong uh, lumabas yung sunburst ng mga lights. Yung mga post. Ito makikita nyo dito sa may buildings ng Eastwood sa baba. And then ito mga post dito sa may um, community area. Yeah. So, kaya tinasa natin yung ano natin, aperture theft 22. Same ISO 100 para ma-minimize natin yung noise ng ating photo. So, I use Lightroom to uh, edit my photos. But when I'm on the go, I use uh, Photoshop Express, Lightroom Mobile, and also Snapseed. So, those are the three um, applications that I use when I process my photos. So, if you want to know how I process my photos, my landscape photos, cityscape photos like this one, let me know in the comment section. I will um, create a video for you so you'll know the step-by-step -step my uh, workflow of how I edit my photos like this. So that's it guys. I hope na enjoy nyo yung video. 
uh, mag-share pa ako ng mga ganong uh, video tips and tricks in the future. So, uh, be sure to subscribe sa channel and click that, uh, hit that notification bell as well para ma-notify kayo sa mga bago kong videos. Thank you.